Hello everyone, welcome to Programming Knowledge. So again, welcome you all to Programming Knowledge. So today we are going to start a new tutorial on some basic data structures in Ruby. So the most basic data structure and the, like one of the most important also is arrays. So today we are going to continue with array in this tutorial and let's see how we like initialize some array in Ruby. So very basic method is to do nums is equal to one, two, three. And now you can do an and you can also initialize another array names is equal to Joe, John, and Jack. So this is a one, one is an array of nums and this is a of strings. So these, these are like two data types you can initialize. One is of integer type and one of string type. And now we what we are going to do, we are going to like see how we can print this array. The one way to print is do put as nums. Now let's run this file. Now here you can see I have printed the array. Another way is to like put s names. So this would like run the array, uh, like sorry, print the array. So this is one way of printing. Another way is you what you can do is you can treat this as a variable. I have already told you like how we like like treat the variables and print this, and this is like this is also going to work, and this is going to like sorry. This is going to uh, print uh, in horizontal direction. So here you can see like this. So same you can do with the names also. Okay, and uh, it looks good to go. Yeah. So here you can do also the, the same thing. Now, one way to also initialize the array is like you can use array dot new and this. Uh, the like this is like array class which calls constructor. And this is array dot new, and this is Joe, John, and Jack. So let's run this again, and let's see it works perfectly fine. And let's run this for nums also, and let's see. Yeah. So so here it also works perfectly fine. So this is one way of printing the array in Ruby. So another way what we can opt for is like I told you this is a new operator. Now, what you can do, uh, you can also use the range operator as well. And uh, uh, some, I'll show you one thing. You can, we can comment this out now since this is not needed, and I've all, all put this comment in comment, so it's just for your reference. So you can also, I'll do this put test names, this put test nums. So these two things are also not e needed. I can comment this, yeah. So now we can use another array. Uh, let's take a variable m and let's give array dot new and I'll sending five times. I want this word hello. So when I do put s so hash m so it would give me a hello five times inside the array. So this is a trick. Now one thing you need to observe. Now I'll remove. I'll remove. Uh, like the same can also be initialized with an integer variable. So like I'll do this. So now it says five times I get the zero. If you want to initialize some empty array with some particular value, you can do this. Okay. So I'll comment this out also. Sorry. Yeah. So yeah. So this looks perfect, perfectly fine. Now what we can do is, uh, we can also use another range operator and for that what we are going to do array this time we don't use the new operator we are not using this okay we will not use this and we give 20 dot dot 30 if you don't want to include 30 put an extra dot i already put in this my previous tutorial that this would include the last element last uh, range and this would not include the last range okay now put s hash m and let's go with this and now here you can see i've got the array so make sure you don't put the new operator this time now some basic operations you can do with the arrays is like some basic operations you can do uh, so like one is now let's create a like a some uh, like dummy array a is equal to array dot new and i'll say one one two three let me try out some with random elements 10 12 
ओके नाउ यू कैन आई शो यू वन थिंग आल्सो यू कैन आल्सो व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू इमिलेट हियर यू कैन आल्सो रन दिस ऑन लाइक आईआरबी कमांड so that is rails interactive console so you can run this irb and then you can have a interactive rails console and you can run this uh, there also okay so let's some uh, let's some like let's move to the next thing then you can type exit and you can come out of this interactive console so i'll show you also how to work with the interactive rails console and now what you can do you can do first the very basic command you can do put as a dot length okay so let's run this and when i run a dot length so it gives 5 the same thing can be a dot size also so when i run a dot size so it gives 5 as well okay another thing we can run is uh, like another thing we can run is a dot first and a dot last so a dot first would return me the first element now let's run this a dot first because this gives 10 now a dot last would give me the last element so that is 50 so a dot first return me 10 a dot last 50 and the size and length works is perfectly fine okay so we can run these commands to like have a better overview another thing we can have is push and pop okay so i'll show you push and pop so hey everyone like these was like four operators we had seen like one was the first last uh, and size and length so you can use all of them first okay uh, you can also use last and size and length okay so these are the four operators we can use uh, one thing you could also use you can use 8.2 underscore string so this would convert this to a string okay so i'll show you how this runs so here you can see so here we have got the string output of this uh, it already looks like ruby rail ruby also does this behind the scenes like when we are using put s so it already does this behind the scenes so we don't like a get intuition like this is happening okay so this is one thing we can also do so two operators like we can do use push we can push 60 now we can print this and we get 60 okay now okay i did like okay i did one thing now we can do this sorry i had like then this the like but it works perfectly fine not an issue but yeah this is the correct way to do it now i can do a dot pop also so the pop would remove the element i'll show you basically pop remove the element from the last okay it in uh, uses like append so it works it has a similar behavior to stack data structure so like it now basically it like pushes the element from the back and pops the element from the back so it behaves like a stack data structure okay now we can move to like one last thing is uh there are various method in ruby like each with index and with index so the important one is a very important one is each with index because this works as a for for each loop h with index i get two things in this one is the value and another in the index okay so i am uh, going to type this put as a statement that the value at index okay now i'll go to put idx is hash val okay so this is is going to print like five times or like uh, so uh, and this is like uh, this is the one, one of the most so the value at index 0 is 10 value at index 1 is 20 value at index 2 is 30 and value of index 3 is 40 and the value at index 5 is 50 uh we could also like uh we could also move with some another methods so there are various methods in array you can like have a view so we can also like a uh, delete underscore add at zero so this would sh this should probably okay i forgot to print this sorry put s hash a 
okay now let's run this so basically deletes the at the index 0 okay now if you want to delete the particular element so you need to define 20 so this would delete the one at 20 so see perfect fine so these are all the like various methods we perform in ruby for array operations so thank you everyone for watching this i'll catch you in the next video